But notice I'm not wearing my normal dress shirt or button up shirt tonight. That's because what we're going to do is going to get a little bit messy. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a very important scientific experiment. I went down to my local Dollar Tree and I spent $60 on silly string. And what we're going to do is we're going to test alternative uses for silly string tonight. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you stick around till the end for the grand finale. It's going to be a uh, interesting. <laughs> anyway, test number one for silly string. It is the most requested one when I posted this on Facebook and various other social media, and that is to use Silly String to make art. So our first alternative use for Silly String is going to be to try to draw a portrait of myself. So I got a knife now. Don't try this at home. I'm gonna be working based off of this picture. So let's try to get the shirt first. We're gonna keep this super simple. Uh, I don't think it's gonna stick. I think, I think experiment one is a fail. We're gonna get this. Look just like me. Okay, there's the mouth. Yeah, these cans don't have a lot of silly string in them. That's why I bought a bunch of them. We're gonna experiment a little bit further here. I'm not giving up on this. This easel also came with a roll of paper, which I think should have better friction. Dude, why are there stickers on everything? Y'all are a bunch of dicks for putting stickers on a roll of paper. Okay. Okay, this is not very tight. Probably should have read the instructions, huh? Oh, that makes more sense. Attempt two at making art with Chris. I wanted to do it on the blackboard surface because it wouldn't be overexposed, but. Oh, this thing sucks. Oh, I see. I see what the trick here is. Gotta hang it from the top. Okay, so like there's my eye and there's my other eye and then there's the mouth. Let's see who wore it better. We have this overexposed board that you probably can't see any detail on versus this. Who wore it better? Our picture was absolutely beautiful. Could not have been better. I think between the picture of myself and my artistic representation, I think there's absolutely no difference. I think we nailed it. Let's museum more. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I'm glad somebody believes in me. Alternative use number two for silly string is to use it as Spider-Man superpowers. So we're gonna we're gonna test that out on thugs right now. Obviously I don't have any real thugs. So let me uh draw one. Okay there we go. That's a beautiful thug. It's a beautiful drawing, but I think I drew, I think I made him a little bit too tall. He doesn't want to stand up. Uh, ooh, I know. Oh, here we go. This is how we do it. I just need some tape. Okay, that's a pretty good thug. Wait, let me add one more touch. I need to give him some dialogue. Okay, here's our thug. Now I'm gonna be Spider-Man in this instance. He's all like, hey, give me, give me your money, man. And I'm all like, no, I need that money for lunch. It's a good thing I'm actually Spider-Man. I'm swinging down. Okay, here's me swinging down. Oh, that's on the ceiling forever now. And then I'm just gonna be like, and he's dead. We got him. Okay, that's a success. Try that one more time just to confirm. Let's get like a really cool dramatic shot of swinging in. <laughs> Thug's dead. He's not getting anybody's money. It's over. Game over, man. Spider-Man to the rescue. I think that was also a resounding success. The streets are so much safer with Silly String Spider-Man to keep us safe. If Marvel doesn't make an actual comic about me, I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. Y'all need to tweet Marvel. Idea number three is to use it as a pepper spray replacement if somebody's trying to mug you. I'm just walking down this dark alleyway. This is pretty, pretty spooky. I hope nobody's down here. 
Hope nobody's gonna hope nobody's gonna jump me. <laughs> hey, you! G give me give me your wallet and your expensive collection of Magic the Gathering cards right now, or I'm I'm gonna shoot you with this gun that I conveniently have. Oh no! Ah, don't shoot me! You can have my wallet, but it will be a cold day in hell before I let you take my Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> ah! 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 I am defeated! Haha! <laughs> -ha. My Magic the Gathering collection is safe. And there is nothing nobody will ever do about it. Oh, that was red. I think that was a resounding success as well. Using Silly String as a pepper spray replacement, it definitely warded off the thug or mugger in that situation. The streets are really dangerous, so we're gonna do uh, another role play, but what if it had gone wrong? And this will be another use for Silly String, which is uh, visual effects blood replacement. Boy, oh boy, I'm walking down my favorite dark alleyway again, but this time, I left my protection at home. I do not have my silly string. So I, if something were to go wrong, I would not be able to protect myself. Hey, you, give me your Fortnite password so I can steal all of your V-Bucks or I will shoot you with this gun that I conveniently have for I am a mugger. Oh no, I left my silly string at home. How will I ever protect myself? I guess I will not, but you cannot have my Fortnite account, foul, vile fiend, for that is my Fortnite account, and I need my V-Bucks for my own skin purchases. In addition to that, Epic also said to never share my password with anybody. Yeah. Well, buddy boy, I am a good mugger, so I will take your password from you with force, with this gun that I conveniently have. Bang! Bang! I am shooting you! Bang! You are dead! Bang! 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 Eat bullets, scum! Give me your Fortnite password! Bang! Oh no! The mugger has requested my Fortnite password, but I refused to give it to him, so now I am being shot! Blood. I think using Silly String as a visual effects blood replacement, we can call that one a resounding success as well. Silly String is a very versatile tool, as we're finding out tonight. Number five on the list is to use Silly String as a cheap 3D printer. We're gonna try to 3D print a cube using Silly String. The first thing you wanna do when you 3D print something is draw out like the base shape that you're shooting for. And I'm shooting to make a 3D printed cube using only Silly String. This one still has some in it. 3D printing. This is not working very well. Okay, that's our base of our cube. We just have to do some adjustments. I think saving $100 on a, on a cheap 3D printer, I think this is worth it. The problem is I have to hold the can upright or else the silly string won't come out. And just like that, we have 3D printed a cube out of silly string. I think that I think that's a resounding success as well. It, it's not the ideal situation, but I think it'll work in a pinch if you don't have a hundred bucks to buy a cheap 3D printer and filament for that cheap 3D printer. So I'll give that one a C minus, even though we haven't been grading on a letter system tonight. Idea number six is using silly string as like a wig replacement to, to like, if you don't have a wig and you need to do like a cool cosplay or something, you can use it to make a wig. So let's try that one. I think purple silly string will work best for making a wig. So I want to look really cool. Okay, there's our silly string wig. I think I look exactly like Barney the Dinosaur, which is exactly what I was going for. Well, that can had a lot. I think using Silly String as a wig replacement is also an A plus if we're grading this on a letter scale and a success if we're grading it on a pass fail. The next idea is the grand finale. So I wanna look through the list of y'all's ideas to see if there's anything I wanna try before that one. So we have use it for hair. 
Silly string art, string silly, blanket. Get a syringe and inject it into my bloodstream. Then go to a doctor and say, I eat silly string and then hammer your arm so hard that silly string squirts him. But it turns out your silly string is Spider-Man and the doctor was a thug in disguise. Ya yeah, boy. Okay, let me go get a syringe. Make a less anticlimactic silly string volcano. That's a good idea. It's a good thing I didn't throw this away, huh? Oh no, the volcano is going off. How was that? Was that good? Did it look like a volcano eruption? I think that was also a resounding success. If we're grading this on a letter scale, I think we'll give the volcano suggestion an A+. Then we will also try the blanket suggestion before we do the grand finale as well. Golly gosh, it sure is cold out here in my most favoritist dark, creepy alleyway. Hey, you, sir, I shot you with this gun that I conveniently have the other day, and I feel awful mighty bad about that. So here, let me make you warmer using my convenient silly string. This will function as a blanket and it will keep you warm through the warmest or coldest of winters. Instead of a gun, I am now spraying you a silly string. Ah. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Thugman. I forgive you for shooting me with your gun the other day and causing me to bleed sporadically. Oh my goodness, now you're spraying me with silly string to keep me warm. This is a blanket. Wow, amazing. Look at this blanket. Oh my goodness, I am so warm through the coldest of winter now. Now we can be best friends. Let's hug it out. Oh, I am hugging you too, because that is what best bros do. They hug each other. And this is the most warm embrace hug I have ever felt in my entire life. This is such a happy ending. I'm glad that I shot you the other day after all, because it has turned us into very best friends. Using Silly String as a warm blanket, I think is also a resounding success. We'll give that one an A plus as well. And now it's time for our grand finale. This was a suggestion that came from Facebook. It is using Silly String to fill a balloon. And then we're gonna pop it. <laughs> There's still Silly String on my ceiling. All right, I have this bag of dollar store balloons. We're gonna use blue. God, I still have so much Silly String left over that I was gonna run out. Let's see if we can fill this balloon with Silly String. And this has compressed air in it, so I'm pretty sure. I think the best way is gonna be to stretch the entire thing over the can and then spray it. I don't know which direction, okay, that direction. Uh. Is this working? Okay, I think all the silly string is like condensed down here at the bottom, but I think this is working. <laughs> all right, let's continue with another can. Now, the trick is gonna be getting this over the can without letting any of the air out. That did not work. At least we'll get more silly string in here now though. No, we will not. Bust it. What? These balloons suck. I guess that's what I get for getting them at the dollar store. That one already busted too. This one already has a hole in it too. The frick are these manufacturers of balloons doing? There's gotta be one in here that doesn't suck. Here, I'm just gonna try to, we're gonna try it this way. <laughs> okay, can number two. Can we do it? <laughs> Pop it over my head when it's full. Are you nuts? Okay, I'll do it. I think I need to get it like, oh, this is gross. Can number three. We're gonna get this balloon nice and full. Okay, this is legit pretty gross. It's like one of those punch balloons. We're gonna keep going until I fill this balloon like pretty big. I've got tons of silly string left. I don't think it's getting any more air in there. I think it has too much pressure, so it's leaking out air as I spray string in here, but it's definitely getting more string in here. Oh, that's gross.
Oh, it's like clogged. Get down there. Get down, get, get. We got another clog. Just gotta shake it a bit so it slips down the nick. It would've been nicer to get transparent balloons for this. Well, th this one broke too. I guess I'll tie it off and pop it. <laughs> that broke too. Oh, these are high quality balloons. I said I would pop it over my head, so I got this knife right here. I hope I don't like accidentally miss and stab myself in the ear. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> oh. Y'all can't see it, but there's like a mist. I just got, oh, gross. <laughs> Want some? Uh, yikes. Anyway, that was our grand finale, ladies and gentlemen. Popping the silly string, that was about one of the grossest things I think I've ever experienced in my life. Picking up that wad of silly string was just <laughs> disgusting. I would say filling a balloon with silly string works. I think if you have higher quality balloons, it will work better. So I'll give that one a B plus if we're doing this on a letter scale. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for new content every single week. And otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night. Until next time, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Do it. You know you want to. If you don't, there's going to be silly string balloons all over your house. Ugh.